Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Trotsky. Welcome back yet again to another thrilling, exciting, adventurous episode of Runway Rewind. We are joined yet again by style icon, beauty expert, sheet mask muse, and bitch who can't walk, Kim Chi. You don't think I can walk? The Korean sensation Kim Chi is here. Korean sensation. I don't know. Now you said you're really inspired by Eastern fashion. Yes, I am. Obviously, I mean, come, you're from Korea, Korea, but you're from Korea. Are you just such? Were you living in Korea? Yes. I was born and raised in America, but I went to elementary school in Korea. That's right. And, and also in high school, I lived in Korea too. So tell us about your look today. What what inspired this? What is it referencing? Who made it? Are those DMC stones? What are we? What's going on? What are we Why does your obsession with DMC stones? Because I just think that those are. I think I think I see a DMC. This is stone. Preciosa. Shout out to Preciosa. Preciosa, yeah, sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> and what are those stones on that dress, Mama? Are, are those China DMC? No, these are not China DMC, baby. I don't know what these are. Is it Swarovski? I think they are Swarovski, actually. You think they are? Well, I got them in India at the bead market, okay. and they said Swarovski on the thing. Yeah, I had this dress. It was a dress that I brought to India with me, and um, it just had like a grid on it, and then mm -hmm. I had it all beaded there. But I'm really dumb because all the stones have prongs on them, and it's like a mesh overlay. So it catches so and they pulls. They get caught and they pull, and some of the stones have ripped off and broken. So it's not a very practical dress, but not a lot of my drag is, you can like hear it pulling right now. Yeah, drag is never practical. Not a lot of my drag is not practical, but this is really okay. not practical. Well, back to me. <laughs> this dress is created by Bikala. So one of my favorite anime mm. series, it's called Cardcaptor Sakura. And this is a character in Cardcaptor Sakura. All of this is going over your head. No, I'm, I'm zoning out completely. Yeah. An anime. But it's for the viewers mainly. It's an anime. Yeah, is anime. It Luna? No, Luna is a K-pop band. <laughs> And it says Konnichiwa, so, yeah. I it's love it. So a lot of your looks are, like I like anime, like as a, st like the, the character's stylistic choice. Like I'm all into the villains, I'm into like that whole like, it's almost borderline fetish. Well, actually, if you look at um, all the Sailor and Villains outfits, they're actually um, Taylor Mugler's outfits. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah. All the, um, like the, the, the purple one, it has yeah. like, ruffles and a little skirt. That's amazing, right? Yeah. And I, that's, again, like that's, I'm such a Mugler woman. Fashion crossing into, you know, the weeb territory. It's cute. No, I'm into all of that. Like, I'm into the fucking like spandexy, space weird, fucking alien esque, villain esque. And I'm that into. That whole part of it I can get into. And I'm into the big frou frou, cute, yeah. delicate, romantic. Cupcake. Cupcake. Girl. Yeah. So, since you are so inspired by Eastern fashion, and there's one Eastern designer who's gotten a lot of attention lately in the past few years. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Go pay. 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 Four installments. <laughs> we're saying it so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I most remember her for is the kind of the China looking blue and white. Iconic. Iconic dress. That's recently been referenced by a drag queen. Queen Yo. Um, but, but I love I love that and Roberta Cavalli also did a collection that was kind of inspired by actual China like the, the dishes the China plate Pardon. so and then also of course Rihanna wearing her to the Met Gala, Met Gala. for China through the looking glass yep. as the theme there were so many memes it was such a gorgeous piece I think it's still one of like the most iconic pieces for this designer um, but this designer every season every couture season kind of pumps out an amazing Amazing. Just like the embroidery work alone. Is like mind blowing. It looks like it's just been hours. Yeah. It's almost as like she plans all of her fashion shows like 10 years ahead. And yeah, like how, for, like, she's gotta be working on designs like continuously and having them just sent off all the time to get beaded. This is a truly avant-garde designer, I think. Yep. Um, as far as shapes and silhouettes and construction is concerned. Um, so I'm really excited to watch. We are gonna be watching Gyope Couture Spring Summer 2018. All right, Are I'm already into it. The stage, the drama, is... the lighting. Oh, yeah. It's just a float. Oh. Oh, the my model. God. Your pride float could never. Just withering away. <sighs> like, oh. Oh. I'm so hungry. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, it opens up. You're kidding. It's polymorphic. 
Do you think the skirt's gonna open up too? I hope so. I really hope so, that'd be so iconic. I love the like combination of different cultures going on here. Yeah, a little bit of like African, yeah, but little... also like celebrating Orientalism. Oh, oh the reveal. This how... is how you open a show though. It's hard to walk. The and nails nail, too. Honey. I and saw then... a girl yesterday with nails like that, it was crazy. How do you like wipe your ass? How do you do anything? I hate wearing nails. Hate. I can imagine having claws like that. This silhouette is so ridiculous. It's like a, it's like an egg. Like, how did they even transport this to the fashion show? Oh, not a strong silhouette. Mm, and lighting. It's drama. Lighting can fucking make or break anything. Oh, that color is stunning. Oh, oh the shoes. Oh my god, the shoe. Oh, and the arch is nice and low, so even I could walk you in could, though. You could break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I need that proportion changed, but the shoe. Oh concept. my god, this is so Ooh, beautiful. The makeup. The makeup. The highlight is popping. Yeah, you could rock those shoes. Oh, totally, I would. I love. Shoes. I feel like her and Ice Van Herpen are two of like the only, like, designers today that are really like reinventing the wheel. Totally. As far as like construction goes. Like when they put on a show, like it's less about like what they're gonna like sell after, but like. Yeah, about how the techniques and like. Yeah, you know, presenting the artistry. Art. It's just every detail is so sought out. Oh, uh, I love it. I love this like almost like, skeleton esque applique esque. Ah. Uh, also, like everything like though, woven. Everything the models are wearing, like if they fell on the show, I feel like the whole Ruined. thing would be destroyed. Destroyed. And this little chandelier on top, so delicate. Although this model makes me very nervous. Yeah, I don't. I feel like the outfits are so heavy. Oh I my like god. this. Oh my god. Uh, what is that even? Is it crystals? You think? It looks like crystals. Uh, it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. I die. I would wear that in it a heartbeat. Like, it looks so fragile. Looks like those that are like crystal figurines, like the Swarovski figurines. You totally. Know, that are like all faceted and shit. That like old people collect. Yeah, little tchotchkes. I'm surprised like no like celebrity like snapped that up to wear in the red carpet. I just love that they put them in like the most impossible. Like you're gonna have a chandelier, you're gonna have like this Yo. most delicate little dress ever, giant earrings, and like ridiculously insane platform shoes. And then like the head now walk. Is, like so <laughs> intricate. I wonder, does she sell like ready to wear? I don't know. I don't think so. So like, who has to be rich then? Like, who, be, like who is funding this fashion maybe show? Maybe China. I feel like China is the kind of country that would just be like, we Here. need artists. We need artists to be, like, and you're talented. Take millions of dollars and do. There's like, a lot of countries that will do that and just like fund artists to keep like the artists just to keep, going. Yeah, the shoe is just so good. I know. And the model's like skin looks like milk. Yeah, I think they have like body makeup on too, like shimmers and stuff. Yeah, but take your time. I can't tell if they're taking their time or if they're literally struggling to walk. <laughs> it's like probably a little bit of both. Oh, oh, she can't even like hold the headpiece. But why wouldn't they like find a way to secure it? Yeah. yeah. I guess it was like last minute. But it kind of like kills the illusion for me. For having to hold the headpiece. Or like, I'd rather both hands be up there. Yeah. She's literally, she looks terrified. Poor thing. I do love this skirt though, this technique is beautiful. All the little pleats. Mm-hmm. With the ombre. And of yeah. course, insane stoning. So you. Very me. Those I love this details. like dingle dangles on the... <sighs> what is that in the loose uh, side? Are those fringes? Yeah, they all have these fringes. To me, this is like... Like an Asian socialite in her 20s, like getting married. I the, love the sleeve. The, the sleeves sleeve are so is, cool. The shoulder uh, detail, too. Girl, I can't get over the shoes. Could you imagine if a drag queen wore this, like to an event? They would be that big. To the Met Gala? Damn. <laughs> oh, these shoes are really cool, too. Hung I feel like this is such a hungry, hungry brand. Yeah. Like, she would fucking rock the shit out of this. Like the uh, heelless shoe. Even Whoa. these like silhouettes, that is so cool. Also the fringe. And the earring. Oh. Uh, oh, that's pretty too. The sleeve. That's how you do clown. Ugh, the embroidery. Fuck. Honestly, like, can I get their number? Damn. So beautiful. Also, you know like if a drag queen had that, like, that's a costume like, the first time she wears it, it looks so good. 
And then, and then the show is going on, it goes like, <laughs> weep, 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 weep. Are those in her, crumbled up in her suitcase, yeah. those shoulders get all fucking like wrinkled and shit. And if it's like a high paying gig, she might steam it, maybe. Oh, this is very you. Very me. It feels like that green thing you have. This is like me at the meet and greet. <laughs> okay, don't, don't get crazy. <laughs> you the wish. silhouette, the silhouette. The silhouette. <laughs> okay, now if this doesn't do a spin, I'm gonna be mad. And then she's like, I can't do a spin. Yeah, not in those shoes, probably. <laughs> Ugh. That's Honestly, like I kind of want to show up just the shoes. They're so good. Damn, these models cannot walk in these heavy ass dresses. Mm -mm. Ooh. Ooh, those origami pleats. The gold leafing. Part of me like loves that they can't walk, and part of me is like, I kind of wish they would have made the models a bit more mobile. Walkable, mobile. Yeah. But I bet all the pictures for this show turned out stunning. Oh, the pictures were probably iconic. Ooh, Ooh. I like this, like Marie Antoinette. Distress Inspo. moment. Little, Are those straws? Little straw, little twine. Ooh, Ooh the makeup is gorgeous. Cutting up real nice. Ooh, the hair. I didn't even see that it's fucking very, like, Cindy, Cindy Lou Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, ju the juxtaposition of like these like rhinestones with the straw. I wish there was more of it. Ooh, this is really pretty. I wish it was like dragging on the floor though. Yeah, but the bottom of the skirt kind of reminds me of those like uh, Mexican dancing dresses. Mm -hmm. Those are, mm -hmm. what are they called? Ooh, this is my look. That's very you. This is the one I want to wear. Of all the looks, oh this is the God. one? Oh my God, this is definitely, for me, this is like the drama. Oh, that skirt. skirt is so cool. Bitch. What is that material? Is it latex? Oh ho. It looks like maybe like polished, something polished. Oh, it's leather. Like metallic. Oh, uh, I love this one. I can totally see you wearing that skirt silhouette. And this like little bustier thing. That goes into Okay, that. how come nobody wore this to Heavenly Bodies? Literally, if somebody wore that to red carpet for Heavenly Bodies, that would have been a showstopper. Like Kim K would have worn that, would have looked good in that. Oh, I love this one. I like, I almost like how like dirty it looks. Yeah, you like all the textures and stuff. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like it was like ostrich that's been like, for it like, curled or something. I'm so gagging on the, the look before this. I'm sorry. That was yeah. so good to me. Ooh. Oh, this is really good too, though. It's like an upside No, it reminds me of? What? Lizzie McGuire movie when she wears the igloo. Oh, totally. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Hilary Duff. It's so cool if to see watching. the texture on the inside too. Yeah, I love that, the detail. And then it's on top of the, the mm -hmm. bust. As well. Like imagine being like the um, embellish, like the person that's embellishing this. The inside. Embellishing the inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like most of the detail won't be shown anyway, but you still have to like sew all these little pieces in. This is also pretty. I like the way. Mm -hmm. I'm into more like the. It's actually the most like basic silhouette out of all the ones we've I seen. I like it. See, but you're into the more the avant-garde silhouettes. I'm into yeah. more like classic glamour type shit. Ooh, so, oh, this all beading. That's not see. Is it? Yeah. Oh fuck. Now I'm really into it. Oh my god. It looks like. Gold waterfall. Yeah, I almost thought it was like. like yeah, look gold at it. Do you see like mesh. the beads? Oh my god, it's all bugle beads. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know that had to weigh a million pounds. Yo, wait, is this the grand finale? Maybe. I see a little I see twinkle dingle, on her shoulder. Dangles. Bridal. Very. Oh. I don't know. Fetters falling. Loneliness. Come on, confetti drop. Oh, she's Let's like a bird that's sticky. hatched. And she wants to be free. I love all these beads hanging off. You know, this is a really weird choice for a closing nook. Do you think it's the closing? Is it a closing? It feels like it's the closing. It feels like it's the closing if they're doing a feather drop. It's like, it's pretty, but it's not my favorite. I wouldn't choose this as a closing. No. I don't, to me, the closing was that gold polished be, yeah. leather looking one. And then the one with all the beads, right? That one too. Yeah. Those two were the strongest for me. I mean, this, this one is, is like nice, still beaded for the but filth, but it's just, it's just not giving anything. What a beautiful show. Stunning. I'm like, that gold gown really got me. Both of them. Are you about to like send a gold gown off I'm to this designer? I'm fully like, I need this dress in like an ombre. Can you imagine ombre beads? Oh my God, from like gold to purple or something? Oh. So what are your initial thoughts, reactions, comments? Um, we got the typical like boys, like attention to detail and avant-garde silhouettes. Um, 
Compared to the other collections that I've seen of hers, this one, I'm still like trying to figure out what the inspiration yeah, was. Yeah, I'd love to hear like the press she was doing and see what mm -hmm. she has to say about like the inspiration and the references. Cause I think you're right. I mean, it opened with some sort of very African-esque with you have the, the rings on the neck yeah. and you have the kind of tribal makeup. And the whole collection so was so work. cohesive. Yeah. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful work. I would love to get the opportunity to wear one of her pieces one day. I don't even want to wear it. I just want to like see one in yeah. person. I'm sure there's an exhibit. She's got to be doing an exhibit. I just want to see her fashion show. Yeah, right. Come like, invite us. I don't even have to sit front row. I want to sit like somewhere in the back. Just like I'm a front row. row. <laughs> I'm all like, with my monocle, like. It's like those look like Preciosa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I loved it. I'm gonna give it like. I'm gonna say at least a 9.5 out of 10. Oh. It's like almost 10s across the board for me. It was beautiful, so interesting, so different, so new. I love it. Also, right now, like, so much of like the runway is like so focused on like ready to wear pieces. No one is really doing like what she's doing right now. Yeah, no, not at all. Or like they're focused always on like selling bags or perfumes or keychains. It's yeah. like no one's really just like, you know what? I'm an artist. This is like, I'm literally reinventing the wheel on some of this stuff and creating some of the most avant-garde pieces. Detailed. That have ever existed and storylines. And so it's, it is refreshing just to see someone be like, you know what? I'm just here to, to make art and that's it. I'm so for that, I'm gonna give her a 10. Yeah, yeah you're right. 10. She deserves it. it. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Kim. It has been another thrilling time with you looking at the fashions. Likewise. Um, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, let us know what shows you'd like to see us rewind, and stay tuned for more glamour coming your way soon. Mwah!